let's have a look at question one in this video. So suppose a monopolist produces using the following function. Now the price of capital and labor are given by these values. In the short run, the capital is fixed at four units. Now let's have a look. What's going to be the short run total cost function? Okay, what's happening in the short run? A property is that capital is fixed. So we're going to have a fixed amount over there. What's going to be the total cost function in the short run? So we solve it here. Short run total cost. We will have a fixed cost because by definition it's fixed in the short run plus a variable cost which is going to be the cost of the labor. The wage times the labor. And because the cost function has to be expressed in terms of the quantity. So in terms of the quantity produced, what is the cost to the supplier, to the monopolist? We will have to have a function of labor in terms of quantity. So let's first solve that. What's going to be labor in terms of quantity? Now we have the production function here. Quantity is equal to K to the power 1 over 2 times L to the power 1 over 2. We know that capital is fixed at 4 is fixed at 4 so we can substitute it into the production function so that's going to be 4 to the power 1 over 2 times L to the power 1 over 2 what is 4 to the power 1 over 2 that's just square root of 4 so square root of 4 times L to the power 1 over 2 square root of 4 is equal to 2 so the production equals 2 times L to the power 1 over 2 now let's take 2 on the other side to have L in terms of quantity Q divided by 2 is equal to L to the power 1 over 2. And because we still have that power of the labor, let's raise both sides to the power of 2 to get rid of that power. So this one to the power of 2 and the other one to the power of 2 because it is an equation and we can do it. Now what's that going to be? It's going to be Q squared divided by 4 is equal to L to the power of 1. 1 over 2 times 2 is just 1. So this is the function of labor in terms of quantity. Now we can substitute this into our total cost function and we're going to calculate our total cost. So what's going to be the fixed cost in the short run? The fixed cost, so the fixed cost is going to be the capital that we use times the interest that we pay for it. So R times K plus the wage, which is $2 times the labor which is a function of quantity and that's q squared divided by 4. Now what's r times k? We know that we know that the interest for the capital is 4 given in the question capital is fixed at 4 as well so 4 times 4 plus 2 times q squared over 4. Now 2 and 4 cancel out and that's going to be just q squared divided by 2 and if we write it in a better way that's going to be 1 over 2 q squared plus 16. That's going to be our short run total cost function. And that was it for first question. Now let's leave it like that. In this video, in the next one, we will work on question two.